All right, so welcome back. This is part two, uh, and in part two of the Twitter 101 e-course for parents and teachers, we're going to be talking about uh, the language of Twitter uh, because there are some symbols uh, that might be confusing at first, but we're going to break each of them down. So before we register, and that's going to be part three, um, you'll know exactly what each of these symbols mean when it comes to the tool Twitter. So the language of Twitter, uh, we're going to start with the symbols. Uh, you see an at symbol, uh, a RT symbol, a DM, a number pound sign uh, that is now a hashtag, and a star symbol. So starting with the at symbol, um, when you uh, create your username, it'll be at your username. Mine is at Joe underscore Mazza. Um, for uh, the school district you're working at, it might be at NPSD for North Penn School District. Um, anyone uh, that owns a uh, Twitter account will have an at symbol before their name um, of that account. Uh, this is the way when you tweet, you mention someone, you notify them, you share something with them, um, that's how you'll use it using that at symbol. The next symbol is an RT, retweet. Uh, retweet or sending uh, someone else uh, another person's tweet. So uh, they're very important because uh, it really allows you to share ideas, uh, not just out there with anyone that you do or do not know in the Twitter sphere, but with those that follow you. Um, a retweet can be considered uh, a compliment to someone. Hey, you shared something really great. I'm going to reshare it to all the people that I know on Twitter as well. So the message, the resource, uh, the notes, uh, whatever is being shared uh, is shared out to even more people as you retweet it and other people retweet your tweets. A DM. Uh, a DM is a direct message. Uh, and this is probably the only private part of Twitter. Uh, to have a DM conversation, which is private, um, you have to be following someone and that's, that someone has to be following you. Uh, and then you can send a private 140 character uh, tweet to someone. Uh, an example of utilizing this, maybe you don't want to put your Skype name or your cell phone number out uh, to the rest of the world in a transparent uh, tweet, um, because really everything in Twitter is public and transparent. Uh, when you're using this tool, it's really like you're yelling it out the front door of your house or the front door of your school. Uh, so it's really important to understand that we're not talking about a private tool here. Uh, so a DM. And finally, um, after the at symbol, the retweet, the DM, we have a hashtag. Um, a hashtag uh, is really the topic of conversation um, that you're tapping. We think of hashtags um, in Twitter like we think of television channels on the TV. Um, so you might have CNN, MTV, ESPN, the Discovery Channel on your television. Where here you might have EdChat, the most general uh, chat topic uh, channel on Twitter for educators. PT Chat, Parent Teacher Chat, uh, CP Chat, Connected Principals Chat and hashtag parenting, uh, where all you'll find parenting resources and whatnot. Uh, so we'll go more into hashtags in a later section of this, but just to get a general idea, um, these are the, uh, the symbols of Twitter, the at symbol, the retweet, the DM, the hashtag, and the last one we're gonna share today is the favorite button. Um, you're gonna find more resources than you know what to do with on this tool, Twitter. Uh, the favorite button, uh, which you'll see below someone's tweet, gives you an opportunity to save it for later. Um, whether you just have two minutes and you saw something, you really want to read that or check that uh, resource out a little bit deeper later, you hit that favorite, that star button, and then it goes right into your favorites um, section. We'll show you exactly where that is a little bit later. Uh, you can also use the favorite button as a, a like button. If you, those of you on Facebook, um, somebody posts something that you agree with, you think is really great, you want to... Um, let them know that you hit that star button and it acts as a favorite or a like button. So the symbols um, are the at symbol, the RT for retweet, DM for direct message, hashtag or pound symbol, and star. Um, the other piece of the language of Twitter is the brevity. You know, you're going to use uh, some different signs uh, when you're tweeting because, again, you only have 140 characters to tweet. You want to get as much into that message as you possibly can. You know, so you will see your language um, as you type it into Twitter evolve you know, over the next several weeks and months as you use this tool. Um, you rarely use full words anymore. You, know, you find ways to abbreviate. Uh, you see how other people are abbreviating. And you, it's a really gradual process of learning this um, new language. 
So the next thing you're going to do, um, you're going to visit um, the quick reference document for Twitter 101. Uh, you can find that if you type into your um, internet, your URL, where you're using Safari, Firefox, uh, Internet Explorer, whatever, um, on a desktop or a, or a laptop, ow.ly slash v4qtf. And that is a shortened link, and that will open up for you um, a very public, open uh, Twitter 101 quick reference guide. Once you've got that open, feel free to print that out so you can have it right next to you for the rest of the um, e-course here. And then I will meet you at twitter.com.